trzy, raz, dwa, dwa, trzy, trzy, raz, dwa, trzy. Witajcie. Jesteśmy we Wrocławiu dla portalu nagłośnieniowego Bolesław Szol. A dziś odbywa się tutaj niezwykle kameralna prezentacja systemu Adamson. A jest z nami przedstawiciel tej firmy, który więcej powie nam o tych produktach, przybliży nam całą linię, całą gamę, którą właśnie zaprezentował nam tutaj i sam opowie Wam, a później mam nadzieję, że ja jeszcze ewentualnie, jeżeli cokolwiek będzie to uzupełnienie, to uzupełnię. How, how are you? Uh, today you present us uh, many of kinds of the speakers from, from uh, Adamson company. Uh, could you tell us about the, this uh, system uh, S-series? Also you told me about uh, E-series also, but uh, first, what you would like to say about the Adamson products? Okay. Um, hello Poland, uh, I'm Thomas from Adamson Systems and I will just give you a quick uh, go through what we are doing here. We're just sitting here in front of uh, our S-series boxes. Um, the series is created of um, some cabinets. We have a S10, it's two 10-inch uh, drivers and one HF driver. There's a road version with rigging and there's an install version too. Boxes are similar and you can change them from being installed to a road version later on if you need, um, but that's related to the rigging, so it's more advanced rigging system for the road version. For the system we also have a SOP, it's a 19-inch uh, driver with a 5-inch voice coil, so it's a really, really heavy SOP driver. We have all together a complete system because we are not just making speakers we are making solutions so it's easy to use so to move around with the system that could be on dollies to keep the dolly fixed if you use them standing on the dolly we can add some legs to the dolly we have covers that we can put on so we don't have to tear everything apart when we uh, have to move the system so we can just move them on the dolly with the cover on so keep them safe We have a rigging frame, it's a lightweight rigging frame that one guy can move it in a simple way and put it on top of the system. There are some extender beams that if we want to do it uh, really, really curved, uh, hang and so on. That's our main products here for, um, for um, the S-series. For the SOPs, there's again, there's a dolly and there's rigging parts on covers. So it's a complete package. To make this more complete, we also sitting here next to an amp rack, so we have a power solution for the system, so it's power distribution, it's in and output panels, and it's the amplification for the system. And said that, it's not just an amplifier, all the needed presets, are so we can load them into the amps. So the combination we have of speakers, that we have S10 top cabinets and S119s as a sub, We can put the presets into the amp and then we can just dial them in from the front uh, later on. To make this work in real life, we um, have a calculation software. And um, our calculation software is called Blueprint. And Blueprint is a software where you start to uh, design the stage and say, okay, it's 10 meters wide, it's six meters deep. You create the room, so you add a floor into the room, you add a area where people are seating and all that you create that room and you draw that room and when you have the room you can then start to add uh, speakers into the system and let the system also calculate what kind of performance um, can we predict from from our software the system here can be used as a 2d version so it's just a quick one that you have a long 100 meters long field you have to cover And you just look at this as a, as a 2D mode, so up and down, um, uh, up, uh, up and down and uh, forward, uh, away from the stage. If we now here move into a more advanced 3D version, I can then calculate the overall control of the system. It takes a little bit of time. And then we have this stage here and we have the covered area of the system, what's going on uh, of level compared to how the system is, is hooked up. So that's our prediction software. It can be used for all our cabinets. 
so it can be the smallest systems we have. It can be our point source boxes. I have, uh, if you take the microphone shortly, I have some of the smaller boxes and so on. So it's for all our products uh, that we can use uh, the prediction software. It's for the sub cabinets and also for the really big boxes that we do. And to show some of them, uh, we could maybe jump to the other one here again. Um, maybe you take the microphone here shortly. Um, let's jump to, uh, hang on, and just uh, grab here to, uh, hang on. <clears throat> Our bigger boxes, and that's a big part of uh, the game of Adamson Systems, that we are creating sound for the really, really big concerts also. We have two top cabinets, uh, E15, that's two 15 drivers, and a drive section here in the middle with um, two mid-range drivers and two HF drivers. The smaller cabinet is a dual 12 inch, called E12, so it's two 12s and one drive unit here in the center. For the line, there's three sub-cabinets, depending on a little bit about what, before, what you like to have of sound. This is a really deep, punchy uh, kick drum uh, type of sub, two 18-inch driver. This one is a dual 19-inch driver, and here is a single. So the E119 here is more or less half of the cabinet here, and two of these will perform similar to one big cabinet here. So depending on how you, the truck space and so on, how you move around the system, it's possible to select different uh, systems. And uh, it's a uh, quite uh, new thing because uh, we talk here about 19 inch uh, subwoofer, yes? This is the same subwoofer like here, this, this subwoofer is also in 19 inch. Why? It's, it's you know, normally we have 18, 21, 15, here we have 19, why? Because we can, because we do everything in-house in Canada, um, so all drivers, so the chassis, the cone, the voice calls and so on, that's something we create our own. Most of our boxes have a patent design related to it, um, so it's unique design. The only thing that we buy from, from outside, of course we buy the paint, we don't create the paint and the wood and the steel and so on, and we're also buying the HF drivers from, from uh, Italian uh, manufacturers and so on. Uh, they are in really high quality, so that way we can use them. But for the low frequency drivers, we use Kevlar here for the cones. And Kevlar is extremely, um, if I could find it here, sorry, two seconds. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, Kevlar is a really, really heavy, um, strong material. So you can use it as a bulletproof vest. You can use it for Formula One cars. But it's really strong, but it's lightweight. And here for a speaker that have to move air, it really, really need a cone that don't break up. Because the more equal you can move the cone, the better sound, the better impact of the kick drum and so on. And it's simply just sounding better with a lightweight uh, membrane that's really, really strong built. And that's the reason why we can design the shape that we like. Yeah. And uh, you show me also uh, um, because now we we with with my friends we talk about uh, your software are a little bit uh, uh, it's it's some kind of software another kind of software we we good known on 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 the in other brands. Uh, it's uh, you think it's uh, some way for uh, when the normal guy will came to to work on this software it will be good known and this is the reason or you think the this uh, this uh, work on this software is very easy and it's it's great to to do it and also you saw me the this uh, you can turn it on the special check system yeah. so you can you can tell me a little bit more about it yeah. let's uh, jump uh, here to uh, the other one here again two seconds I would then go to um, our control platform here. We use uh, Lake software to control our systems. Um, and the system here that we have been playing on here today is uh, controlled by the lab group in AMS. Um, and for that control is um, our use here of, of uh, Lake. To 
use our system. We have one target is that we want to do it as best we can. We are built strong, we built so we can survive for many years, but we have to sound extremely great every time we must have the best performance. And to do that, one thing is the Kevlar dr uh, drivers and so on, unique pattern design of waveguides and so on. We have to calculate exactly the most precise angles to get the best performance. And we also have to make sure that the amplifier the behind the system can control speakers the best way. And one of the setups that, that is in use here uh, that Lake can do is that we can sweep the speakers so we can send out a signal um, into the speakers and say, okay, I sweep the boxes and make sure that cables are right, that we have connected the right speakers to the outputs of the amps so we don't burn any drivers. The worst you can do is to do a show and you blow out all the treaters and you have the on the beginning of the show because you did a mistake and we don't like that. We want to have the best performance on every show uh, so our artists that are playing on our system get the best experience ever and the audience uh, get some really, really nice sound and show out of it. Yeah. Could you share with us information who who work on this system? Maybe you know some groups or some companies in, uh, in the United States or all the world who, you, who use this uh, e-system, S-system, who, who work on this, on these systems? We have many different players and we have a network of, of partners uh, worldwide that are playing on the system. One of our bigger players from the uh, US, uh, Eight Day Sound, have many cabinets. Um, but we also have partners in uh, South uh, America that, that have really, really uh, heavy mounts of boxes. Also from the, the earlier boxes like Y18 and Y10. So it's a worldwide, uh, out of the... Uh, out of a, a complete globe. At the moment we are growing in, in China like many other brands are, but, but we have a good impact there because they, they like the cheap stuff or the really, really great stuff. It's, uh, the middle boxes, it's not, nothing from them. They really want the best or it doesn't matter. Um, and that's where we're winning. We are in the premium brands that really make a difference uh, and that's where we, we can do the difference. We can make the high quality, we can make sure that it's it's uh, sounding nice and it's performing wise. Mm -hmm. And today we can he uh, heard also the stage monitors. Two types, one of uh, 15 uh, low and uh, one inch high, yes, and, and also the 12. Yeah, uh, I'm th I think I'm sitting on the best chair in the room. Uh, maybe also uh, a little expensive just to being a chair. But what are we sitting on here? That's uh, our monitor. We have four monitors. Um, a M12, that's just a little bit smaller footprint like this one. So it's a 12 and a horn. And this one is our M15, so a 15 and one horn. Then we have a dual 12. Dual trail and the horn, and a dual 15 with the horn. That's if you really, really want to play loud. Uh, it's more or less a concert system, just as a monitor. So it's a really, really loud monitor. These are also loud. They sound extremely nice and have great control of what's going on. When we listen to um, Adamson systems and the Kevlar cones, you can hear the bass notes. You can hear all the definition, and that's where we are coming in. That is not just moving air. You can hear the definitions in all frequencies that you're playing in the system. And that's what you need as a singer or bass player. And you need something that tells you exactly what you're doing. So you can pitch right when you're singing or when you're playing keyboard that you can hear that you hit the notes correctly and so on. So that's what the game are for a monitor. Be as precise as possible with the lowest distortion and have a decent output so you can hear what's going on. Because we are playing loud on our main system, so we also need as monitors that can follow up. Yeah. So, depends what you're looking for. Uh, the Adamson company can provide you uh, many different ways to solve your problem. Uh, 
from very small, tiny uh, speakers, also a uh, few with the Kevlar uh, membranes, and uh, they have also the monitors, they have uh, uh, line array, small, medium, uh, or maybe we can, sh we can talk about medium and big one, and amplifiers, everything is ready. And uh, also, uh, if you're looking for the uh, you know all the complets of the system. They normally you tell me two speakers for one base. Yes, it's a two two high two two meter high ca cabinets to to one base, and you can uh, use it with this uh, special Amprax. It's ready to use if you uh, if you are a beginner of this system. You don't have you don't worry for that. You have the presets. You can choose everything what you would like to do, and uh, also I think the Adamson company helps you uh, to to build your own great uh, system. Thank you for for uh, today for for uh, for your visit in our country, and I think it's not the last day and last time in our country. For Portal na Głosiniowy, Bolesław Szol, dziękuję bardzo. Raz, dwa, trzy, raz, dwa, dwa, trzy, trzy, raz, dwa, trzy.